Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and welcome to my Simpsons review for two Halloween episodes of The Simpsons. So for this review, I'm going to be reviewing not only the 26th annual Treehouse of Horror Simpsons episode, but I'm also going to be reviewing Halloween of Horror. And Halloween of Horror is, believe it or not, the first Halloween themed Simpsons episode. So Halloween of Horror is about when the Simpsons are getting ready for Halloween. The day before Halloween, Homer takes Bart and Lisa to this scary but fun place called Halloween Horror Night, I believe that's what it's called. However, it actually scares Lisa. So because Lisa being basically traumatized, the Simpsons family are forced to take down the Halloween decorations and not really get into Halloween too much because of Lisa being scared. So while Lisa and Homer go ahead and do their own thing for Halloween, Marge decides that she wants to take Bart and Maggie somewhere else to go trick-or-treating while Homer and Lisa just go ahead and stay home. But unfortunately, it's difficult because Homer, when he was at Apu's supermarket, he accidentally gets these three employees fired. So these three employees want to get revenge on Homer and basically want to make him sorry. So Homer has those guys to deal with while he's trying to cheer up his own daughter on this special Halloween night. In my opinion, I gotta say, for this being the first Halloween themed episode of The Simpsons, nothing to deal with the Treehouse of Horror episodes. It was a really great episode and I just had an absolute blast watching it. I really do love the main plot with Homer and Lisa. I thought that was by far, you know, what really made this episode just so entertaining. And this episode, you know, in nice Simpsons form, it is really funny. A lot of the jokes really did hit in my opinion. This episode did show heart like when you see Lisa shaking at that Halloween Horror Night, you actually feel bad for Lisa. Like, you kind of want to go, aww, because Lisa was like so scared and you're like, you don't want to really see her be the scared. But I thought that made for a heartwarming story. There was actually heart with Homer and Lisa. I thought it was just a very nice touch for the episode and moments like that are honestly why I still love The Simpsons. Just all of the bits when it comes to Homer staying at home with Lisa, like I said, it was very sweet, but it was also very funny because he has to deal with these guys. And these three guys try to scare Homer and really just get back at him. I also really like the nod to the Treehouse of Horror episodes that was in this episode in the very beginning. And of course, it's just nice to see Lisa get back into the Halloween spirit. And just to see her overcome her fears, it was just really nice, to be honest. Now, the biggest problem I will say I do have with this episode, however, is unfortunately the subplot with Marge Bart and Maggie. It was a fine subplot, but I was honestly just getting pretty bored whenever they would just go back to them. And every time the episode went back to them, I would be like, okay, let's just get back to Homer and Lisa. Uh, the great thing about it is that it's not like the main thing. It's only like for a few brief moments, thankfully. Uh, but I will say the only time I was actually really enjoying that subplot was this out of nowhere random musical number that actually did have me laughing pretty hard. But you know, other than that one funny, enjoyable moment, the subplot overall, it was fine. I will say the ending does feel rushed when Homer was getting rid of those guys because Homer and Lisa had to call for help with those fireworks. That's when, you know, they get all arrested, then boom, the episode ends, and Lisa overcame her fear. So I did think it was rushed at the end. And of course, just a few times, the humor doesn't land. But overall, you guys, I thought this was a really great episode. I had a great time watching Halloween of Horror, the first ever Halloween-themed episode of The Simpsons. So overall, I am going to give Halloween of Horror a 7.5 out of 10. So now I'm going to go ahead and review Treehouse of Horror 26th. That's right. This is the 26th annual Treehouse of Horror episode. Um, 
for those wondering, it's not 27th because if you guys remember, season one of The Simpsons didn't have a Treehouse of Horror episode. They started with this series with season two. So this is the 26th annual Treehouse of Horror episode. Whenever I go into the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror episodes, as much as I do love The Simpsons, these episodes I am always, no matter what it is, least anticipating. Because, you know, sometimes there could be a Treehouse of Horror episode that I'm not looking forward to and it surprised me, like the 25th annual episode from last year, 2014. But then I cannot look forward to these episodes and they end up being bad, so I always keep my expectations low when it comes to these episodes. So, with the 26th annual Trails of Horror, let's see how it turns out. So, of course, I never really count this when I grade episodes, but we do have a couch gag, and honestly, this one was not impressive. I I actually thought the couch gag was pretty bad here. I really like the animation style in this episode. The animation was really cool and all, but it just felt so random. It wasn't entertaining at all. I, I thought it was honestly pretty cringeworthy. They just tried too hard with some of the sight gags that they tried to throw in with the couch gag. And honestly, it was, it was lame. It really was lame. Um, like I said, I'm not going to really rate that or anything. So now let's get to the first segment in this, which is called Wanted, Dead, Then Alive. Now, this segment actually deals with Sideshow Bob finally killing Bart. Now, when they announced this, people were freaking out. Oh my gosh, it's, is Sideshow Bob really going to kill Bart and the Simpsons? Just to clarify, guys, no, he's not dead in the Simpsons. He's still alive. It's just in this Treehouse of Horror segment, he's dead. But it's just for this Treehouse of Horror segment. Bart is still alive. And I knew that when they were announced, because think about it. Do you really think they're going to kill off Bart? Sure, The Simpsons has killed off a few of their characters in the past. They have. But do you think a, a main character like Bart, The Simpsons, is going to kill off? So I wasn't going to believe in that for a second. But the Treehouse of Horror episode, I believed. It's finally here. And now that I've seen this segment, Wanted, Dead, Then Alive was honestly awful. This episode was so terrible and it's just so disgusting. Like not even funny kind of disgusting, it's just disgusting for the sake of being absolutely disgusting. And that's why honestly when I go into these Treehouse of Horror episodes of The Simpsons, I don't look forward to them because some of the segments can just have blood and all of that stuff just for shock value. And unfortunately, this particular segment does deal with a lot of the grotesque violence that's honestly not necessary and they try to use it to be funny. Just how the overall execution was done was very sloppy. The pacing was honestly very rushed. And then when Sideshow Bob does actually kill Bart, it was honestly too quick and it was just such a waste of potential. Of course, it is nice to see Sideshow Bob. I like seeing Kelsey Grammer as Sideshow Bob being part of these Treehouse of Horror segments. That's nice. A few funny moments, really with what Homer says or does. That's those are the only positives I have with this. It's one of those shock after shock after shock episodes that doesn't go anywhere. And the ending to the episode was honestly just so oh it was so dumb. It tries so hard to be funny, it tries so hard to be disgustingly funny, and it fails miserably. This is one of the worst Treehouse of Horror segments I've honestly ever seen. It got off to a very cringeworthy and unwatchable start for the 26th annual Treehouse of Horror. So I'm going to give the segment Wanted, Dead, Then Alive a 2 out of 10. Now we're going to get into the second segment, Homer Zilla. Now, just by me saying that title, you guys can already guess what this segment is. It's a parody of Godzilla, and that's honestly all you need to know for this segment. That's really all I can say for a plot synopsis. It's just a parody of Godzilla, and of course, Homer is Godzilla. So, I'm not going to lie, when I heard about this, this is actually the segment I was looking forward to. So, how did Homer Zilla turn out? 
it was just okay. Honestly, it was a very disappointing segment. Yeah, it was very underwhelming, and I did feel like it did waste the potential. Now, of course, the positive is that Homer, Homer as Godzilla, was so awesome. He was really funny. All of the bits with Homer being Godzilla was actually really entertaining and very funny, especially with him and that planes. Like, you know, the typical planes coming after Godzilla, but it's just him swinging around the planes, which I thought was just so hilarious and it was so unexpected. So I really did like that. I liked the setting, you know, like it paid homage to the classic Godzilla. You know, the Japanese original film, which I personally think is a fantastic film. Yeah, they paid homage to that by having this black and white setting, and I thought that was actually very creative. Visually, it gave the segment a nice breath of fresh air to it. But what does really make this just a very meh episode was just the overall pacing, which just like with the Sideshow Bob one, it was really rushed. Some of the editing was honestly really poorly done. And I didn't like how after that black and white setting, it cut to the real world because the real world is like everyone going to the movie premiere to see the Homer Zella movie. Um, it still wasn't bad, don't get me wrong. There were still a couple of funny moments. With the cool concept like this, I was hoping for something awesome, and it turned out to be not a bad episode like the Sideshow Bob one, but just, well, just a forgettable episode. It was underwhelming, and I am going to have to unfortunately give Homerzilla a 5.5 out of 10. And now for the final and third segment in the Treehouse of Horror episode, we now have the segment called telepaths of glory so telepaths of glory is basically chronicle where lisa millhouse and bark they fall into this tunnel which gives them superpowers to fly and stuff and yeah that's it so this segment uh it's so boring it's really boring there just wasn't anything to this episode, in all honesty. There are a few funny moments dealing with Millhouse, Lisa, and Bart using their superpowers. Yeah, there was, but I was actually finding myself really bored throughout this episode. And honestly, it was just very poorly made. Like, I like how it started. I like how they did use the whole found footage thing when it started. Um, after they got their powers, however, that's when the episode did start to really go downhill for me. And I was just not getting all that interested in it. It was very poorly done. It honestly had very bad writing to it. It felt really lazy. It felt like the writers just weren't really getting creative with this episode. That's just the vibe I got from this segment. And you guys are going to hear me say it again because that's how I feel, but the pacing here was honestly very rushed. All three of the segments in this episode had rushed pacing, not giving much fun to any of these episodes, you know. At least Homerzilla was able to deliver some fun for me, I'll give it that. And at least I wasn't bored watching Homerzilla, unlike with this episode. But, you know, each of these segments really did not have very good pacing. Execution was weak in this segment. And the whole Maggie thing, that was actually cute. I did like how this segment ended with Maggie having powers. And then when we got to see the aliens, Kang and Kudo, make their cameo at the very end, that was very funny. How they made the joke, oh, look, we make a cameo once again. So that was honestly pretty funny. Overall, guys, this was a very poorly done segment. I really did not care about the segment at all. It was just so boring, so uninspiring, so lazy, pretty much with all the segments in this episode. And I am going to give the segment Telepaths of Glory a 4 out of 10. So overall though guys, with the first segment getting a 2 out of 10 from me, the second segment getting a 5.5 out of 10 from me, and the final segment getting a 4 out of 10 from me, overall as all the ratings range together, the Treehouse of Horror 26th annual episode gets a 4 out of 10.
So you guys, that's my take on these episodes. I really hope you enjoyed watching my review. Comment down below and let me know, what did you think of Halloween of Horror, the first ever Halloween themed episode of The Simpsons? And then comment down below and let me know, what did you think of this year's Treehouse of Horror episode? And what's your favorite segment in this Treehouse of Horror episode? This is 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have done na 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 na